Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to close the loop of the spline. So right now we have this thing where you can hop in the platform, basically moves around, and there we go. But you can touch it again and nothing happens. Okay. Well this is actually something that's really easy to, to fix here. So let's go and let's click on the spline here. And under the spline, it just says closed loop. And if we hop and compile that, and let's hop back in here, and what you'll notice is that the, um, the, the spline here, I'm just going to move this here, has now been closed. Now watch this. Hey, there's a couple things that we can do. So for example, if we do that, then it basically does the loop once, and we can jump again, and there you go. Right? It does the whole thing there. Perfect. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Now watch what happens when I change this to uh, play from start to just play. Okay, so you can add in some of these other items here so you can see that we can do that here. And it's basically the same thing. Okay, and um, you can do, for example, the reverse, reverse from end, uh, etc. But for the most part, um, that's basically... Uh, that's basically what you need to, to understand here um, is that you, you you can do that here now if you want to um, for instance set it for when um, it just plays um, begin plays uh, you can also do that too so it just basically starts and then stops and so the next question that you're probably gonna get is how do you loop it well it's pretty easy to do um, you hop into your timeline here and just push loop. Okay, so if we hop on this here, well, you can see that it essentially just loops, right? And there you go. We have this nice platform that constantly loops. I think this actually looks kind of neat. Um, you can almost make a whole game out of that. But nevertheless, um, let's go and add in one other item, or we'll basically play around with one other item here. So you know, if if you do the event begin play, and you want to just do play from start here, you can basically see that this platform will just start going. So if you're looking for a way to just have things move around in a specific fashion, this might be a good way of doing it, right? So in this particular example, you know, if you want to get on, you got to kind of jump onto it. Now, of course, the jump mechanics are kind of weird, but there you go. You're now on it. So that almost could be a whole game itself. Can you get on the platform or not? Which is actually not that bad of a game. You know, you can kind of duck and do other things. But nevertheless, um, that is, you know, basically how you use splines, um, loop them, etc. There's a lot more that I could go into, um, autoplays, etc. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, I think that is a good enough uh, starting for you. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.